Hello everybody. Welcome back to Reaming D-Man Gaming. Today we have a different kind of video for you. Obviously there's no gameplay on and for some reason my hands are here. That's because we're having an unboxing video. Technically not a, a full unboxing because Rainy had to check the box to make sure it wasn't a birthday present because my birthday's coming up. But uh, the actual item itself is still in its wrapping and it's ready to be shared with you. And I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen the stuff inside the box. I know what it is, but I'm not quite sure what's all in there. As you can hear all this rumbling, I'm opening the box and getting the item out. Monopoly Skyrim Edition. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Edition. So yeah, that is what this is, as you can see on the box. Dragonborn. You have to be 13 years or older. Uh, this is all typical, but I'm just going to show you the box. So, I'm going to very solemnly flip it over. And I'll read you this little tidbit on the back. Skyrim is a land in conflict. The Empire has been overthrown by the Elves, who attempt to tell the noble Nords residing there who they can and cannot worship. The Stormcloaks are rebelling against the Imperial Army, and dragons come to life and are terrorizing the people of Skyrim. It is down to you to take control of your own destiny in Skyrim edition of Monopoly. Explore the world of Skyrim, from the village of Riverwood to the capital city of Solitude, onto the ancient temple of Skuldif... I do not pronounce that correctly, sorry. During your travels, you will be able to build your prey at the Blacksmith and the Alchemist, as well as visiting guilds such as the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Collect and loot resources, but be aware that if you may have to, you may have to pay bribes and bounty if old guards are suspicious of your activities. As a Dragonborn, you have the power to take on the invading dragons and build a powerful empire in the land of the Nords. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to become a hero in the world of Skyrim Monopoly. So, and that's all on the back. The light, oh my god, that light is horrible. But I don't want to move the webcam because sometimes it desyncs and I'll ruin the whole freaking video. But I just read all of this. Alright. So, it's time to open this. Oh, jeez, I have a piece of plastic stuck in my hand. It's this stupid plastic that's like, just loves to get it. Hey, thanks for whoever delivered it. You already bumped up the box. Thanks for that. There's a little bump right here. It's just like a crease. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's right there. All right, let's get this open and viewed. This is the plastic. If you wanted to see that, I bet you did. All right. What the heck? Top Trump's plan discover. All right. Don't know what this is. Shopwinningmove.co.uk. I, I don't know if this is. All right. Don't know what that was. These are the. Oh, this is the rules. The official rules. As you can see on the back, Skyrim, play it right. Many players like to devise their own house with Monopoly rules. This is fine, but such rules often make the game last longer. In the official rules, players may never loan each other money or trade promises not to change rent in the future. Oh, or trade promises not to change rent in the future. All tax and penalty fees are payable to the bank. It should not be stored under the free parking or ever anywhere else. Yeah, so these are the official rules. Doubt you want to get an in-depth look at that, but if you do, well... It's wrong video. I'm just kind of trying to show you pieces. All right, here's your money. Whoa. Mono Skyrim UK. So this is a UK edition of the game. All right, I didn't know that's where you bought it from, but I guess you didn't. I guess that makes sense why it was a UK website and the advertisement that came in. I guess that makes a lot of sense now, huh? I'm trying to open this money. And I, oh, just as I was saying, I was having difficulties. I opened it. Okay, okay, now I'm back to having difficulties. Yes, I'm losing the plastic, shut up. Alright, there we go. So yeah, the back of this is something about... 
about the UK. I don't, I don't know what this is for, but whatever. So here's the fresh, pristine money. There's the one dollar. And you can see my fat stacks. There's your five dollars. Oh, it's the different runes, runes on there. I play Skyrim, but I still don't know the name of all of them. Oh, well, I know that one. <laughs> the Oblivion Gates. It's cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Someone in the comments tell me. Actually, you can tell me any of these. Sorry, I don't know them all. Okay. 50. 100. And... Obviously, the 500, the Imperial Insignia. Official Imperial Class. Alright, so we'll set those to the side, right behind the camera there. Uh, the houses and hotels look the same. And there's your two, oop, there's your two dice. I gotta get used to, I don't usually use it. Yep, okay, there we go. I'm horrible at this. But yeah, here's your hotels and your dice. Nothing, nothing fancy there, just your typicals. No reason to you know, go into detail of those. We're going to save this till the end, obviously. Oh, what is it? Oh, wow. A little sack for your dice. Monopoly sack. Made in China. Yeah, there you go. That's a better view. So we'll open that up and look at, take a gander at it. Yeah, a little sack. I don't, I guess to keep your dice in. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of my uh, my sack for my D&D dice. You know what I mean? But, you know, this one has like six dice in it. Or like eight. And this one will only have two. But it's so big in this one. I don't know why it's, this is so big. But, yeah. Monopoly sack. Alright, cool. Put that back there. Um, ooh. Oh, this is cool. These are the property cards. This must be event type of cards. Vosroda. Raid the Blue Palace. Collect $200. Monopoly dollars. So we'll take a look at these properties and some of the... Uh, I don't know what they're called Monopoly anymore. The I, I guess they're the community chest, you know, and chance cards, but... I don't know what they're called in Monopoly Skyrim Edition events uh, or actions or something. I guess it could still be chance. But the fact that you're raiding the Blue Palace is a, not a smart idea, my buddy. Not a smart idea at all. Alright. Are we going to have to cut me fighting this? Because I don't know who wants to watch me battle with a piece of plastic for 45 minutes. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Sorry if I'm at some points of this video peeling off camera. Like I said, I've never done one of I've never done one of these before. I also gotta realize I can't talk in a soft voice or the or the webcam won't pick up my voice. Oh for the love of money. Do, am I lazy and just use my teeth oh I was gonna say use my teeth or go get the knife. That's literally in the other room. Oh, wait, wait. Don't. You just pick at it until it finally gives in. Oh, my God. Why did only half of it go? Okay, there we go. Thank God. Get off my hand. Thank you very much. Get out of it. Oh, my. Just a minute. I have to battle with a piece of plastic. Okay, there we go. So, these are the properties. It's probably hard to see. Whoa. Eh. Yeah, getting close you ain't helping. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Those are the properties. That's Helgen. Uh, this is what they look like on the back. Pretty neat. Helgen, Riverwood. I'm not going to go through all of them right now because we'll see more of them on the, obviously, on the board. So we'll see more of that there. But yeah, so those are the property cards. Then we have what I, yeah, so it's like the railway, it's the guilds. So you have the Dark Brotherhood, the College of Winterhold, the Thieves Guild, and the Companions. 
Paul right here for your viewing pleasure. So they all go right here. And then blacksmith and alchemist, which is, you know, electricity and water. That's cool. They're merchants in this one. All right, and that throat of the world, throat of the world. So the throat of the world is like Chancer Community Chest. And the other one is Vos Roda card. So one of them is Community. I don't know which one's which. We'll try to figure this out. So whatever one has negatives is Chance. So we'll find out. Obviously, we saw that one. Vance to go collect. Decorate your home. So it's yeah, okay. Vos Roda is Chance. You have to pay money in some of these. So Vos Roda is Chance. Community Chest is Throat of the World. Vance of the Nearest Guild. Okay. Well, I guess those could both be. <laughs> Take, took an arrow to the knee. Go back three spaces. So, that, never mind. This is Chance. This is Community Chest, I think. Don't quote me on it, though. I could be horribly, horribly mistaken. Alright, let's place those pieces. So, that's the cards. Uh, we might... It's just a little stop in the video if you're if you got this far. We might might because I think I got I can get the setup now that I'm trying it out here. Record a game of Skyrim Monopoly and other board games because we have a ton of board games in this house and card games and whatever's. We're thinking about doing that. Do you want to see it? Comment. If you don't, comment. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll say that again at the end of the video. No, seriously. Subscribing makes the channel just look better. The watch time is doing a lot better, which I hear is a good thing from the people who study analytics. Yes. <laughs> so a treasure chest. This is one of them. Playable. Your little, uh, little icons you can play as. I don't know why I'm constantly blurry, but I am. I'm going to put that right there. Um, oh, <laughs> Pac-Man. Oh, I mean, cheese. I guess that is a pretty iconic symbol of Skyrim, is Pac-Man cheese. These are actually metal. These aren't plastics. I don't know if I can make a little... Yeah, so. Maybe they're not metal, but they're definitely not plastic. I'll tell you that much. Alright, I'm trying to pick which one I want to show next. Oh, for the love of money. The oh, it's a potion. I thought it was a clothes iron. A potion. Healing potion, I assume. It really could be anything, but I'm going to assume it's a healing potion because I want to. So yeah, potion. Then we have a shield, or is this a plate? I'm assuming it's a shield. Nope, that's probably a plate. There's a reason why I said that's... Oh, jeez, you couldn't even see it. There's a reason I said this is probably a plate. Maybe it's a shield. If it's a shield, tell me in the comments, but... It might be a plate. I only say that because I know this is a shield. It's the iron shield, the shield of the dragonborn that he typically uses. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. So, yeah. So I don't know if that's a plate or a shield. And obviously, one of the characters had to be the dragonborn, his helmet, or her helmet, whatever you play as. It's the dragonborn's helmet. So, those are your characters. Six icons for six players. Who are you missing? Oh, we'll put this one right there. There you go. So those are your little icons, your little player. We'll put those right over there. And get to the last, but probably the most important thing when coming to any board game, the map. Ugh, are we going to have a room? Ah, uh, we should. Alright. I'm going to see if I can move the camera without desyncing it. Try to get you more. There we go. Got the entire board now. Alright. Here's the board. Obviously, there's a map of Skyrim right here. Your Vos Rodas, Throughout the World, each of your properties. This is pretty cool. I guess I'll read off the properties for you. That way you know from cheapest to most expensive. So typical fashion of Monopoly. You have Helgen. So it's probably going to go in companion of like, or order, not companion. 
probably go in order of, you know, when you find these spots in the game. Helgen, Volsava, Da, Card. Oh, I guess I'll go around and do properties. I'll just name off everything, okay? So you have Helgen, Volsava, Da, Riverwood. You have to pay bribes, so that's the same as, like, pay taxes. The Companions, Hunting, Hunting Brew Meadery, Throat of the World, Dragon's Reach, White Run, Iverstead, Iverstead, Alchemist, Shorestone, Riften, Thieves Guild, Fort, Sun God, Bosroda again, Koth, Weston, Markov, free parking, Fort Amun, Throat of the World, uh, okay, I can't read upside down. I was trying. I can't. Sorry. That was not working out for me. I should have just kept it over here. All right. Fort Amul, Thor of the World, Kynan, Kynan's Grove, Windhelm, College of Winterhold, Fort Hugstead, Dragon's Bridge, or Dragon Bridge, sorry, Blacksmith, Solitude, Go to Jail, uh, Alfred? Tower of Masvidoc? I'm not pronouncing any of these right. Or half of these. Volsroda, Black's Reach, Dark Brotherhood, Throw of the World, Skull, Stefan, and Sovereign Guard. You can just straight up buy Sovereign Guard. You can buy Heaven. Cool. Oh, and obviously there's a pay bounty in there. But, so yeah. There's a little, you can see the map. I'll try to hold it up for you to see it better, but ugh, it's going to be awkward. Okay. Just don't bend that way. So, I just have to bend it half and half like that. So, it's the hot upper half. And there's the other half. So, yeah, that's uh, Skyrim Monopoly, basically. And I think it bends up, yep, just like that. So, yeah, that was a. That's Skyrim Monopoly. That is something that just came in yesterday, but we had to hold off because we had stuff yesterday, so we recorded it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of Skyrim Monopoly and seeing all the pieces. Like I said, we might be doing board games in the future on the channel because I think I can have a setup now. I didn't think I could in the past, but doing this video thing proved to myself I could. So we'll have to do that. We'll have to do some board games. Most definitely, Skyrim Monopoly will be on that list. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. And please remember to subscribe. It really does help the channel. Every like, every comment, every subscribe. It helps grow the channel. It helps get it out there. It helps everything. So just, if you enjoy the content, do it. But anyways, this has been D-Man of Arena D-Man Gaming. See you guys next time.